Welcome back everyone. Elizabeth Scala here from Living Sublimely Well. I'm excited to share a short seated stretching practice with yoga moves for our back, shoulders, neck, and just overall upper body health and of course relaxation. Really quickly, if you're under the care of a medical provider, honor those guidelines or restrictions or doctor's orders as they're called, first and foremost. Uh, but what's even more important than medical professional advice is honoring our own body, our own gut feeling, that intuition, that voice inside our head that says, oh, something's not right. So stretches are meant to create tension. That's what a stretch is, it's tension. So some tension or just general strain, just a, a pinch of discomfort is okay. However, if any of the postures, poses or stretches make you feel intense pain, fiery pain, sharp shooting, pain. Back out of that, honor your body, sit and breathe quietly and wait for us in the next posture. That being said, we are going to begin. So take an easy seat. And when I say easy seat, it's typically a um, cross-legged seat uh, with the feet in front. Personally, I really, really encourage blocks. You know, from other videos, I love props. If you are coming to your mat and your knees are way up by your shoulders, this is not an easeful posture. This is putting tension on the hips, the socket here. And then because of that tension, your forward, your um, upper back tends to curve to kind of create, um, taking the strain off here. There's just a whole mess that's happening if your knees are way up here. And this is okay. This is probably the majority of the population, adult population, when they sit down in a, in a cross-legged seat. So take a yoga block, take a pillow, take a cushion, and slide it underneath the sits bones. So you're sitting on the edge of the block, kind of on the forward half of the block, which then, allows the knees to open and drop more comfortably, more easefully to the mat or the floor or the surface beneath you. So this is how we will do the majority of our practice today. So I really encourage you to find a block, a pillow, a yoga um, a meditation cushion, uh, a, a couch pillow, anything that's going to elevate your hips to allow that external rotation and allowing the knees to open in a gentle, more easeful way. That being said, go ahead and find that seat. Inhale the shoulders up towards the ears and then exhale the shoulders, sliding them down the back. Sitting long and tall, elongate the spine Reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling as the sits bones ground deeper into the block. Tuck the chin and bring the hands to an easy posture on your thighs or in your lap, whatever's most comfortable for you. If you feel safe, and comfortable to do so, go ahead and gently close the eyes. Otherwise, just take a gentle gaze to the edge of the mat. Breathing in and out of the nose, if that's available to you today. Notice where you feel the sensation of the breath. Explore 
the breath. In this moment, is it most noticeable for you at the tip of the nose as you feel the air enter on inhalation and feel the air exit on exhale? Perhaps you most notice the breath in the chest and shoulders as you inhale and the shoulders gently rise. And as you exhale, letting go. And finally, maybe you notice the breath most in the belly today. And as you inhale, the belly expands and exhaling, the belly contracts. Find your anchor for this practice. Find where you will pay most attention to your breathing in these moments. And with this intention of exploration, we explore some gentle movements. You can keep the eyes closed if you prefer, or you can open them if you choose. Inhaling, turning the head towards the right, gazing over the right shoulder, exhaling to the middle. Inhaling to the left, exhaling to the middle. Inhale, looking over the right shoulder, exhaling center. Inhaling, taking the gaze to the left, exhaling middle. Take a couple more rounds at the pace of your own breath. Finishing up here, leading me back at center. Wonderful, yogis. This time, let's take our ear to the shoulder. So the right ear falls over to the right side towards the right shoulder. Hang out here, keeping with your breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And just notice the sensations perhaps exploring dropping the left hand down towards the floor, extending that left hand out a bit, deepening the stretch in the left side of the neck. As you notice the stretch, perhaps you choose to look up or alternatively, Send the gaze down. And just notice with these gentle movements, how does the stretching sensation shift, change, tighten, release? What do you feel in the muscles? With an exhale, bringing the chin to the chest. And with the inhale, bringing the left ear over to the left shoulder. As before, hang out here for a moment in stillness. 
breathing gently through the nose. And then if you choose to, letting that right hand dangle a bit, extending out to the right side, deepening the stretch in the right side of the neck. You can stay right here or perhaps you explore sending the gaze upwards, noticing the neck sensations in this way. And of course, exploring looking down. Finding that place where you get the greatest sensation, where you know the stretch is healing the body. Lovely. All right, with our exhale, bringing chin to chest, and then inhaling the head back to neutral. If your eyes have been closed, you can go ahead and blink those open, welcoming you back from your gentle warm up. Let's go ahead and inhale the shoulders up, exhaling them down. Inhale up and exhale down. Moving gently at the pace of your breathing. Let's reverse directions. So inhaling up and forwards and then exhaling down and back. Excellent. Coming to stillness. Now staying right here on the block, if you choose, if you're feeling that you've opened up a bit and want to remove that block, the choice is yours. But just remember the strain when our knees are up in the air. So sitting right here, if this works for you. Let's go ahead and take our arms out to the sides, open wide. Inhaling the arms behind us, sending the shoulder blades down the back, lifting the chest, gazing to the sky. And then with the exhale, we will round the back, tucking the chin towards the chest, the forearms and palms touch, the belly button comes towards the spine. So let's move with the breath, inhaling to open, lift the chest, gazing up, shoulders down. Exhaling, round the back, forearms touch, chin to chest. Inhaling to open, arms are wide, slight back bend, gaze is up. Exhaling, arms come together, rounding the back, chin to chest. Inhaling to open, exhaling to close. Taking several rounds of this movement, this seated cat-cow, at your own pace. You're doing great, yogis. Keep breathing, linking breath with movement. Couple more rounds. The last time in each direction. Dropping the arms and coming back up to a neutral spine. Beautiful. Let's now move our spine side to side. So we just did some flexion and extension, and now we'll move laterally side to side. So inhale that arm up, and then exhale, leaning to the other side, gazing up to the inner elbow, opening the chest. Inhaling the arm up, 
exhaling it down, other side. Inhale the arm up. Exhale, lean to the side, careful not to cave the chest. So lift the chest, gaze is up. Inhaling that arm up, exhaling down. Again, both sides. Inhaling up, exhaling over. Side stretch. Inhaling up, exhale down. Great job. Inhaling up, exhaling side stretch. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. This time we're going to hold the pose. So inhaling up, exhaling, hold the pose here. Taking several breaths, really allowing the side to stretch. Breathing into the side body. Sending the breath to where you feel the sensation. Excellent. Inhale that arm up and exhale to lower. Other side will hold. Inhaling up and exhaling to side bend. Again, hanging out here, really elongating the side body, breathing into the side muscles, opening the rib cage, sending the breath to where you feel the stretches. Beautiful. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Great job, yogis. All right, we're going to do the Sufi grind and some seated twists before we wrap up. So go ahead and remove the block if you were sitting on that block. You're still seated in this cross-legged, uh, easeful posture. Sufi grind is going to have our moving at the hips. So we are moving the entire torso forwards, out to the side, back, and around. When you do that, dropping the shoulders, flexing and extending that spine, really getting into the movement. It's as if you had a really large mixing bowl and a beautiful wooden spoon with a chocolate brownie batter and you're just grinding that batter getting ready to bake some beautiful delicious treats so really allow yourself to play with this posture and feel the sensations throughout the torso the hips the back and all of the body Wonderful. Looking good. All right, let's go the opposite direction. Just like that. Keep on breathing. And you may even link the breath to the movement. Perhaps you inhale as you're moving forwards. And exhale as you're coming around the back. Your choice. Playful yogis. Experience the healing. Amazing job, everybody. Loving it. All right. I could do this all day. <laughs> but for the purposes of the class, let's move on. So coming back to stillness. Wonderful. All right. So you can extend your legs if you prefer to do the seated twist with the legs extended. If you have done this before and know what the posture is, um, once I start cueing us, if you'd like to extend uh, the leg, out front, you can definitely do so. But today, uh, I'm choosing to cue us with our legs bent, bent, both of them. So go ahead and you'll keep the left leg where it is, but lifting the right foot and bringing the right foot over the left leg so that the right foot is outside of the left thigh. Sit up long and tall, ground yourself through those sits bones, the crown of the head pulls towards the sky. Taking that right arm and wrapping it around the right leg, the left hand comes to just outside the left hip. So you're gonna inhale to lift the body up, and then exhale, start twisting that torso towards the left shoulder. 
inhaling, lift and lengthen through the spine. And then exhaling, twisting just a bit deeper, sending the gaze over the left shoulder. Each time you inhale, lift up through the spine, sitting tall. And each time you exhale, explore the edge of the twist. Hang out here for a couple more breaths, breathing and noticing the body. Great job, yogis. Gently, slowly begin to unwind back to center. Excellent. So we'll switch sides, which means the right leg will come up and actually get moved to the bottom. So take that left leg, the left foot, the left foot comes outside of the right hip. So the right leg is underneath, the left leg is bent and raised. The left foot is outside of the right hip. Take that left arm, wrap it around that right leg, and then take the right hand and place it on the mat just outside the right hip. Lengthen through the spine, sit up long and tall on the inhale, and with the exhale, begin to twist the torso towards the right shoulder. Inhale. Lift through the spine. Exhale, twisting towards the right, sending the gaze over the right shoulder. Inhaling to lift up through the spine, elongate the back. Exhale to twist just a little bit deeper. Continue to breathe, exploring the edge of the posture. Wonderful. Very gently, very slowly begin to unwind. Excellent. Coming back to neutral. All right. So we're going to move to our final relaxation. So if you'd like to lie down into Shavasana, go ahead and make your way onto your back. Allow the pinky toes to flop out towards the corners of the mat. Lift the hips and tuck the tailbone. Lift the chest and slide the shoulders down the back. Allow the arms to flop open a little bit away from the side of the body, palms faced up. Or if this is not available to you, you can always just place your palms on the belly. Go ahead and gently rest your eyes. And again, as before, notice the breath. Explore where you feel the breath as you lie here in corpse pose. Find that anchor for your breathing. And as you rest in final relaxation, breathe, be, and just allow.
Go ahead and begin to gently wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Bringing small movements to the physical body. Perhaps sending the arms overhead, reaching the arms as far as you can overhead and pointing the toes, completely stretching the entire body as if waking for the first time this morning. Allowing the legs to relax and bringing the arms back down, making your way over to your right side, cupping the head and the right bicep, bending the knees and just gently resting, lying peacefully, on your right side for a moment. And then using the hands to press yourself back up into a seated posture, the cross-legged pose, the seat that we started the practice in today, keeping the eyes closed for the moment the hands can be in the lap or at your sides. A message from Buddha. No one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. Buddha. Allowing the hands to dangle at your sides and with your inhale, palms face up, lift the arms up overhead, palms come to touch, exhaling the hands down to heart center. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. It was an honor to share yoga healing with you. Namaste, friends. Well, there you have it. Thank you. What a beautiful practice. And just so you know, for those who are subscribed to this channel or to this page, um, these classes will be shortened, uh, meaning the length will be less as I've been doing the past few times. I am teaching full hour long yoga classes at my yoga studio, Living Sublimely Well. So if you'd like more information about that, or if you want to join our classes, if you're in my area, which is Maryland in the Hereford zone, Baltimore County, uh, visit my website, which is elizabethscala.com. I will post the link, of course, in the comments below. I also have openings for private clients and private clients can be around the world because we can do things virtually. So if you'd like longer practice, longer extension of class, one-on-one -on -one personalized attention and poses that really support your healing journey, please do contact me. It'd be an honor to partner with you in that way. Okay, guys, we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Until then, be well.